Welcome to this quick start tutorial for IQ version 3. My name is Lewis Gershwitz and in this video I'll be covering downloading and installing IQ, downloading and importing a profile, adding icons and backgrounds, as well as the extra steps for profiles with sound effects. First, let's get the latest version of IQ from Corsair.com slash downloads. As you can see, I'll be recording this tutorial using version 3.2560. If you're using a version later than this, there might be some slight differences to what I cover in this video. Once the installer is downloaded, simply run the file and follow the prompts. When IQ is running, it should automatically detect what you have installed for your system. Most devices like keyboards, mice and headsets do not require additional setup. However, devices that control things like fans or strips will require an extra step. As an example, the Lighting Node Pro on this system has not been configured yet. I'm setting mine to 6 RGB light strips on channel 1 and 6 LL RGB series fans on channel 2, as that's what I have installed on this system. It's important to get the channel and number of fans or strips correct, as it will affect the lighting. Time to import our first profiles. I've downloaded the Spectrum collection on my website, along with the additional background pack. You can find these profiles and many more at lewisgershwitz.com slash Corsair. Before I use IQ to import these, I need to extract them from the zip file first. You can either use the Windows Extract All for this, or a program like 7-Zip or WinZip. With those extracted, we can now open IQ. The Import Export button is under the Profile drop-down menu here. With Import selected, press on the three dots to bring up the file browser window and locate the profiles. Once selected, press Import. The Spectrum is a .q folder file, meaning it contains any number of profiles within a folder. Single profiles will appear as a .q profile and import in the exact same way. With this set of profiles successfully added, we can customize IQ with icons and backgrounds. I provide a specially designed icon with every set on my website, but Spectrum is currently the only set with custom backgrounds available. You're not limited by what I create though. You can use any image you want for either of these. To open the Edit Profile menu, select the profile you want to change from the profile list, and the window at the bottom should appear. Let's add the icon first. Press the three dots next to the custom profile icon to open the file browser window and locate the icons. If you want to use a background, you can do the same using the three dots next to background image. You can blur the background image for an added effect and drop the transparency of the windows with an IQ to see more of it. If you want to remove either the icon or the background, you can clear the file location from these text fields. You may have imported a profile of mine that uses sound effects and will now cover the extra steps needed for those to work. For this example, I'll be importing my Legend of Zelda pack, which uses sound effects to play notes on the ocarina profiles. There are two ways to get my sound effects to work. One is easier than the other, but depending on your system or system permissions, you might not get the choice. The first and easier method if you have the permissions to do so, is to create a Q folder in C slash Windows slash Media. I picked this location as my default, as it's out of the way, universal to all Windows machines, and not at risk of getting moved or deleted. Once created, copy all the sound effects to this folder, and because it's the default location for all my sound effect actions, the sound effects should all work automatically. For the second method, you'll need to choose your own location to keep these files. Try to pick a place where they won't get moved or deleted accidentally. Once you've copied all your sound effects to this new location, you'll need to go through each individual action and locate the sound effect again using the file browser. If everything worked properly using either of these two methods, you should be able to test those actions now. Hopefully that's enough information to get you started. If you need more help, you can leave a comment below, come talk to me in the Discord server, or you can ask me at Lewis Gershwitz on Twitter. Links for everything are in the description down below. If this has been useful to you, like the video, or please let me know in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss the next upload. We managed to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. Thank you so much to everyone supporting the channel, and thank you for watching.